solve one problem on shape factor of the perpendicular planes to each other by using graph we will read the given question from the given diagram for planes which are perpendicular to each other find out the shape factor of one with respect to two let us understand the given diagram this is the diagram for the two perpendicular planes of each other now for each plane there are two sections so for this vertical plane there is section 1 and section 3 and for this horizontal plane there is section 2 and section 4 now length l1 is given for this horizontal section 2 cm and for this vertical section length l2 is 2 cm now the total width for this two planes perpendicular to each other is also mentioned that is 3 cm plus 3 cm that is 6 cm now we will consider here the section 2 plus section 4 that is this whole horizontal plane that is equal to section 6 and section 1 plus section 3 that is the whole vertical plane that is equal to section 5 now we have to find out what is the shape factor of 1 with respect to 2 that is f of 1 to 2 that we have to find out now if we observe this diagram in between this section 1 and section 2 there is no any common edge now when we refer the graph for this shape factor for the planes which are perpendicular to each other they must have that is two sections or two perpendicular planes must have the common edge in between them so here this condition is not getting satisfied because here the bottom edge of section 1 is here and the top edge of the section 2 is here that means these edges are different so there is no any common edge second is th second thing is that for those two sections we must have the common width so here we have to take the common width then only we can find out the shape factor directly from the graph now we will apply here the summation theorem so we will if we observe f of 1 to 2 so here f of 1 to 2 that means a uh, shape factor of 1 with respect to 2 now how we can write this section 2 in the other form that is we can write here this total surface area 6 minus this section surface area for this section 4 so i will write here f of 1 to 6 minus f of 1 to 4 i will give here this equation number 1 now if we observe shape factor 1 to 6 so here is section 1 which is having width 3 cm and here is section or surface area 6 which is having width 6 cm so again we have to make changes in the shape factor because the width is not common in between this 1 and 6 now again if we observe the shape factor of 1 and 4 then for this one and for section 1 and section 4 there is the common edge and also the width is also same that is 3 cm so we can find out the shape factor for this f of 1 to 4 from the graph now we will move for the changes in f of 1 to 6 so for this surfaces 1 and 6 we will apply reciprocity theorem now why we are going to apply reciprocity theorem because here the surface 6 and here is the surface uh, section 1 so we can write here the section 1 in the other form that is this whole surface 5 surface area 5 minus surface area of 3 so i will apply the reciprocity theorem in between surface 1 and 6 so a1 f of 1 6 is equal to a6 f of 6 to 1 so how we can write here f of 1 to 6 that is f of 1 to 6 is equal to a6 by a1 f of 6 to 1 
So we can replace this f of 1 to 6, a 6 by a 1, f of 6 to 1. So here I have replaced, so we have to rewrite this equation. f of 1 to 2 is equal to a 6 by a 1, f of 6 to 1 minus f of 1 to 4. So f of 1 to 4 we have to write as it is. Now again f of 6 to 1, that is chef factor of 6 with respect to 1. So again we, will, we have to make changes in 1. That is we have to write 6 to 5 minus chef factor of 6 to 3. So this surface area 5 minus 3 that is equal to 1. So again we will write a6 by a1 in the bracket f of 6 to 5 minus f of 6 to 3 bracket complete minus f of 1 to 4. Now again in between surface 3 and 6. So if we observe for this um, surface 6 and 5. So if we observe here is surface 6 and here is surface 5. Both are having common edge in between them. Both are having same width. So we can find out the shape factor for this 6 to 5 from the graph. Now here we have to make changes in between 6 and 3. Why? Because if we observe here is the surface area 6 and here is the surface area 3. Now these are having different widths and both are having no any common edge because the edge of 3 is here. And edge of 6 is this whole edge. So we have to take the common width that is width should be same. And we have we must have the common edge in between them. So that this con these two conditions are not getting satisfied. So again we have to make changes in between the surface 6 and section 3. So again we will apply reciprocity theorem. So how we can apply that is. We have to make f of uh, 6 to 3, we have to make changes f of 3 to 6. Because this 6, surface 6, we can easily write by using the summation theorem. That is 3 to 6 is equal to f of 3 to 6 is equal to f of 3 to 4 plus f of 3 to 2. Now in between 3 and 2, there is a common edge and common width. So it is easy for us to find out the shape factor. So again I will use the reciprocity theorem and I will uh, replace this f of 6 to 3. So a6 f of 6 to 3 is equal to a3 f of 3 to 6. So this is by the reciprocity theorem. So f of 6 to 3 is equal to we can write in the other way a3 by a6 f of 3 to 6. So we have to put this value in this equation. So I will give here the equation number 2. So we have to put this value in equation number 2. That is we have to replace this f of 6 to 3 and we will rewrite this equation. We will rewrite this f of 1 to 2 is equal to a6 by a1 f of 6 to 5 minus a3 by a6 f of 3 to 6 minus f of 1 to 4. Now if we observe shape factor in between 3 and 6. So we can rewrite this uh, total area 6 as a f of 3 to 4 plus f of 3 to 2. That is I will again replace this f of 3 to 6 with, with f of 3 to 4 plus f of 3 to 2. So remember we have to mention here the bracket because this total f of uh, 3 to 4 plus f of 3 to 2 there is area a3 by a6. So for calculation purpose we have to put the bracket. Now again if we observe how to find out the shape factor in between 3 and 4. So this 3 and 4 there is no any common edge. So if we observe for this section 3 edge is here bottom edge is on the right hand side and for this section 4 the top edge is on the left hand side. So we cannot find out the shape factor in between 3 and 4 by using the graph. Now if we move for the next that is shape factor in between 3 and 2 then for this 3 as well as section 2 there is the common edge and there is the common width that is width is same for the both sections. So we can easily find out this. So again we have to replace this. So how to replace this f of 3 to 4? So here we will use the geometrical identical configuration. So what is this concept? 
So when we observe this uh, section 3 as well as section 4, the section 3 is having mirror image. So section 3 is having mirror image for this section 2. And this section 4 is also having mirror image with section 1. Now if we observe we can replace this 3 with 2 and we can replace this 4 with 1. So here is mirror image that is 3 is having mirror image with section 2 and 4 is having mirror image with section 1. So we have to replace f of 3 to 4. So f of 3 to 4 we will replace with f of 2 to 1. So how we can rewrite this f of 2 to 1. So again if this 2 to 1 that is also we cannot find out this uh, from the graph. So f of 2 to 1 we will write it as by using reciprocity theorem a1 by a2 f of 1 to 2. So I will directly replace f of 3 to 4 with this a1 by a2 f of 1 to 2. So we have to find out this f of 1 to 2 and it is also getting repeated. That is the same value that we have to find out. So we will rewrite this or transfer this f of 3 to 4 with a1 by a2 f of 1 to 2. So here also don't forget to give the bracket for this term. Now what is our new equation? So new equation f of 1 to 2 is equal to a6 by a1 f of 6 to 5 minus in the bracket a3 by a6 again in the bracket a1 by a2 f of 1 to 2 bracket complete plus f of 3 to 2 bracket complete and this square bracket complete and outside the square bracket there is minus f of 1 to 4. Now for all these terms we can find out the shape factor from the graph. Now we will first take the shape factor for 6 to 5. So for 6 to 5 that is this area 6 and area surface area 5. What is L1 by W? So L1, L1 is this. L1 is this 2 cm and W is 6. So 2 divided by 6 that is 0 0.33. Now what is L2 by W? So L2 is 2 cm and W is 6. So again it is 0 0.33. So when we find out the cross section or in the point of intersection for this L1 by W and L2 by W, we will get the value of 0 0.24. Now we will find out what is the shape factor of f of 1 to 2. So f of 1 to 2 that is unknown so we will keep as it is. Then we will find out the shape factor 3 to 2. So shape factor 3 to 2 that is L1 by W. So L1 it's 2 cm and for this section 2, W is 3 cm. So here 2 divided by 3. And also L2 by W that is also 2 divided by 3 that is 0 0.66. Then again for 1 to 4. So for 1 to 4 also same values are repeated because L1 is 2 cm, L2 is 2 cm and width is 3 cm. So same value that is the point of intersection that is 0 0.22. Now how to find out area? So area A6. So area for this rectangular shape we will find out by multiplying length multiplied by width. That is 2 multiplied by 6 that is 12. Now how to find out area for this section 1? That is length multiplied by width that is 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6. Now A3 and A6. So area of 3 also 6 and A6 that is area of 6 that is 12. So it is easy to calculate A1 and A2. So A1 and A2 that is 2 multiplied by 3, 6. And for A2 also 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6. Then we have to put these values and we have to find out what is the value of F of 1 to 2.